Hey guys, welcome to NAN 2019 and welcome to the Cranbourne Audio booth. We're hanging out with Long and McQuaid and we're going to show you some of the products that we have on display here. So, first of all, we're going to start with the Camden 500. So this has been around for a little while now, since October, but um, essentially it's a 500 series preamp, but it's designed to be the cleanest and most transparent blank canvas that you could possibly find in the mic preamp. So performance wise, it has some really, really crazy specs that you can find on our website but we're talking extremely frequency linear, extremely phase linear at all gain settings. So yeah, really, really clean canvas. But we all know that us audio guys, we love a bit of vintage vibe, all that kind of stuff, transformers and the like. So we came up with our mojo control and essentially what we did is we measured what transformers and valves did to audio. It's, it's not voodoo, it is science. We can work it out if we measure it. And then we emulated those effects using discrete components like resistors, uh, capacitors, all that kind of stuff. And so we have two mojo styles. The thump mode is essentially like your traditional British vintage console style saturation. If you put it around four o'clock, that's gonna emulate bang on the THD frequency and phase shift response of a proper trans uh, transformer based preamp. But ours goes way up to 11 and way beyond what a transformer could normally do. So yeah, it sounds, sounds really great up there as well, and very usable. Also, we have a second Mojo style called Cream. If you put it into Cream, this is much more like your kind of a valve and tape saturation, where you start pushing it really hard, uh, it starts to compress a little bit in the mid-range, you get more THD. It's a really, really cool and very interesting effect. And both Mojo styles are extremely dynamic. So when you, uh, this, it's very source dependent. So if you put an instrument in there that's very full range, you're gonna get a totally different effect than if something that's more mono, you know, monophonic or anything like that. So yeah, very, very clean, but it goes all the way up to a proper vintage vibe, all with one turn of a control. So that's our preamp. But you can see here, they're living in, in a rack as well. So it's not like your average uh, 500 series rack. Uh, we have two models here. This is the 500 ADAT. This is the 500 R8. So the 500 ADAT is an eight slot high current rack with a built-in summing mixer, built-in headphone amp section here, but it also has conversion built-in and it has uh, ADAT ports on the back. So connect this up to your Universal Audio Apollo or any interface with ADAT and now you can get access to 500 series, you can record them straight into your DAW. You can also play back ADAT sources through each of your modules and then re-record them back in so you can insert modules via ADAT, that kind of stuff. And you can do all that with the front panel switches. Very, very easy. One flick of the switch and now you're receiving ADAT sources. Below it we have a very, very similar thing but it has a built-in USB audio interface. So it's 28 in, 30 out and that allows you to record each of the modules ind independently, uh, as well as 16 channels of ADAT. The summing mixer has its own stereo DAC, so you can record the output of that straight into your DAW. And the same deal, uh, each one of these modules has a source switch. Put the source switch over to USB, and now that slot number eight will be receiving the output of USB eight from your DAW. So really, really easy to insert processing um, and you know record through your 500 series modules. This guy also has a monitor, con monitor controller built in with talkback, all that kind of good stuff. So it's a one-stop shop for all of your you know, recording needs, whether it's portable or whether it's in your home studio. So connected to these, we also have something quite cool, and that is our N22 and N22H breakout boxes. And essentially what these are, is these are remote I.O. Um, connectivity options for the 500 R8 and ADAP. So as you can see, these are connected to 500 R8 with a Cat5 cable. And this Cat5 cable is transporting four channels of balanced analog audio. So that's zero latency, all analog, but we just repurpose a Cat5 cable, or shield a Cat5 cable, to do so. By doing that, what we can do is we can position this in the vocal booth, position this in your control room, sling out this box with Cat5 anywhere you want it to be, and now, inputs that you put in here, mic line inputs, will travel up the cable and it will arrive directly at the inputs of the modules if you just flick the switch over to receive the cast option there. So that's a really quick way of receiving mic inputs located externally. And secondly, at the same time, on the same cable, the monitor mix that you're listening to on the box is sent back through the cable and straight to the headphone output here. That includes your talkback as well, so you can communicate with your singer and you can send them a headphone mix, all just using one cable. Again, all analog and uh, yeah, zero latency, all the good stuff. We have a second box as well. 
Oh. And this is our N22. So very, very similar deal, but this is purely a passive box. So it has two inputs, two outputs, and the cast connections. It doesn't need any power to operate, whereas the N22H needs power just for the headphone amp, and that can be done via 9-volt battery. So they work really well with this box, but they also work really well together. So if you connect an N22 up to N22H, then inputs that you put into here will arrive at the headphone output, and inputs that you put in here arrive at the outputs of N22. So you can use it in conjunction with your own audio interface just to save cables and, and make things a little bit tidier at your home studio. So also at this show, we're also announcing uh, so another product, which is called uh, Camden EC2, and that's this fellow right here. So this is based upon, I'll get it out of the way for you, sorry about that. This is based upon the Camden 500 uh, module that we saw earlier, but it's in a 1U 19 inch box. So here are your two preamps, exactly the same design, same performance as the 500 series module. Um, but we also have a few extra bells and whistles. So we have this section over here, which is essentially uh, a headphone monitoring section. It has independent controls for each of the preamps as well as an external source coming in uh, on the back via a pair of uh, jack inputs. So you can create your own monitor mix, you can monitor uh, channels directly on the unit, great for placing a mic on a guitar cab for example, and it's also great for a vocalist, they can monitor their vocals directly on the unit and combine it with their playback coming externally. This box also works perfectly with our breakout boxes, so you can relocate the I.O. where it's needed in the studio space, but then one final trick is that EC2 can also connect straight up to our 500 R8. So essentially, you can connect um, an N22 up into this box, and then this into the R8. So what that means is inputs that you put in here travel into the preamps, and then from the preamps, they travel through the Cat5 directly into the R8 for recording. And then at the same time, the monitor mix that you generate here travels through the cable, it goes back into EC2, and then you mix it in, and then it arrives directly at the outputs of this box. So it sounds quite complicated, but it's all plug and play, all analog, and you know, really easy to set up. And uh, that's about it for all this stuff, so thanks for coming by, thanks for checking it out, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching. To be notified of more videos from our trip to NAM this year, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Leave a comment or question below and check out our video playlist of all the latest and greatest products at NAMM.